Hey, it's all about quality, not about quantity, right? Let's get back to another round of Brews Day Tuesday with Drez and Huck. I was going to say, you should have probably cut the wax <laughs> off the top. Will it work? I don't know. It looks like the back. Lead. You might need a, you need a knife. I got a knife if you want to try and cut the wax. Yeah, I need a knife. So this is one of those big fancy bottles with wax covered at the tip, which makes it tough to open up the bottle cap. Huck was even like, he was like, you going to open this one or me? Yeah, I should have let you do I it. I said, you go for it. Huck, he's like, that's because you know it's going to be hard as hell. Yeah, look at this thing. <laughs> covered. Okay, so... Let's just jump back and talk about the festival while we're doing this. Is this is a actually winner from 2012? Oh, you don't need to cut the top off. Well, I'm trying to get the edge off here. All right, gotcha. I think I can get it now. You can get it now. There she goes. <laughs> well, here I'll let you fill me up. Right. So it's from 2012. Yeah, this it? is a bronze medal winner from 2012. From 2012. Yeah. So it's been aging for a half a cent, half a decade. Yeah, there's a there's actually a really good story here. As usual, if I'm per, around. Per usual. Per usual. So I need to give you some more. I didn't give you enough here. You take the rest. All right. So um, <clears throat> this is from, at the time, the name of the brewery was Strange Brews, I believe. What's it say on there? Strange Craft. Okay. Well, back in the day, in, in 2013, when I was there, it was Strange Bru- Strange Brews. But apparently that was a conflict of some copyright. That, that tends, this happens. That happens. It definitely happens. happens. Um, so they they um, they had to change their name to Strange Craft. So this is probably, and I'm just going to throw this out there, and people can hate me can or tell love me. What this is probably the best craft brewery in Denver. Why? Well, I noticed your shirt earlier. I was going to say something, shirt. and now I'm glad I waited till now to mention it because yeah. I was going to cop and let you on the shirt, but I didn't realize that I, we were drinking one of their beers. Got a cool shirt there with the uh, yeah the little well, hops, hops got a little ha- hanging on out. the back. I mean, and what's also funny is because it's Denver, so is it hops or yeah, who knows? <laughs> like, but um, they're the same family. But while we're at it, well, let's go ahead and uh, this is the this is Strange Crafts Doctor Strange Love. It is a barley wine. Oh, which hell yeah, yes. we know what that means. Huck session for sure. Batch number fifteen, six thirty five out of one thousand. It's got the metal on the side there. And I'm looking for the ABV. I'm assuming it's got to be at least like what nine. No, I was thinking more like twelve, but just tasting it. Uh, I haven't tasted it yet. Yeah, but I figured it's, it's got to be there. up there. I don't see it on here. Perhaps Untapped could tell us. So they had a, they had a. I'll look it up. They had four of vintages of this, and I asked the bartender who had. By the way, had one of the best beards I've ever seen. Probably oh. like. Little high maintenance, probably spends an hour every day fixing it up. Oh. It's fair enough, but I mean, it was a great beard. That's a perfect beard. That, I mean, but yeah, you can appreciate those, but damn, like, yeah, my beard's not that perfect, and you know, sometimes it's not perfect at all. That's an effort. But these guys, this is a place where four years ago I was sitting in another bar, and this Japanese guy was looking for a seat, and I offered him one. It turned out he was the brewer from Kirin Brewing out of Japan. I think I remember this. Yeah, story. and I took him. This is where I took him. We both wanted to go here. Oh, okay. And uh, so we went there. And I, when I went back in there, they remembered. <laughs> <laughs> so amazingly enough. But um, yeah, I got. It. I had a great time. They, we had all their beers. They had a eleven point five. Eleven point five. I yep. thought it's twelve ish. Yep. That's what I'm getting. Twelve ish. Only forty five check ins. Yeah, this is not. Test. This is a very rare beer. Well, it's set out of production, which obviously right. The only place has you been get for a this while. is there. And, um, yeah, so that's what I said. I told him I was going to drink it on the radio. I said, I want something rare and I want something good. And he had several vintage. I started to get the 2015 just because it had won an award as well. But this is only bronze medal. So this is the third place of all the barley wines of that year, which is probably, I don't, I can look it up, but probably 75. Barley wines is like 50 to 100. Yeah, you said, all right, so at the Great American Beer Festival, which, by the way, this is a. I mean, I know you, you talked about what you say about four thousand beers. Four thousand beers, yeah. And this is essentially one of the. I mean, I know that there's different competitions all throughout the world, but this is probably the Mac Daddy in America. It is the Mac Daddy in in the world. This really is, in yeah, the world. Really in the you world. Think? This is the Mac Daddy. Yeah. This is where a beer gets judged, and you know, there's the there's also the uh, craft beer. CBC craft beer or something in DC every year, which okay. I may get to next year. I haven't been to that before. Yeah, let's do that. That's a little bit closer of a community. yeah, right, <laughs> a little easier. But this this is you know, there's 158 categories, 162. I don't even look it up. Look oh, it up wow. if you care. Wow, that's there's a, lot. a number of categories, and the, and I just remember a couple facts in my head from this this year, and there were 400 entries in the IPA, 
But then that, and that, that's just like the regular IPA. They also have a New England IPA version. And there was a little debate afterwards. I mean, I'm not, I don't care. I have no horse in this race. But, you know, hey, yeah, maybe we ought to reduce the number of categories. I mean, you know, I mean, I'm not dissing anybody, but really, you, you got like, I don't know. You got brown beer, yeah. brown beer with a you know. That is a lot of categories. Yeah, that's a lot. And of categories. we haven't. We actually we haven't even talked about this because I don't know if um. Well, I guess we weren't going to dive into it last week, but uh, see, you were you missed Brudu to be at this. Yeah, yeah. Which I know you were one of the judges of the uh, of the beer the contest. home homebrew. I'm a celebrity judge. Which, by the way, that I think had a total of like. Five categories. Of yeah, yeah, we had not the um, same scale, but that's I'll say we had sixty so, or seventy beers. So much easier to. But then they're they're all they're only yeah five categories, but homebrew. then they're all across. They're not really you know that's a, that's the other side of the coin. Is sometimes the categories could be better. So I don't know. Yeah, you know the categories could be more concise, especially in homebrew. But homebrew is a little different. That thing. is, but I mean, I mean, well, if you got four thousand beers, I guess you need to have a lot of categories. One hundred sixty eight is a lot. Well, no, that's that's how many beers were being poured at the Great American Beer Festival. I think in the contest. Well, they could have been. Actually, I saw a number. Somebody said 8,000 beers were put in. I was going to say, you would think it'd be even more, probably. Yeah, I think I did see that number, 8,000 bandied about. a lot about. of beer. And and the thing I, is, is it's like the same. Who's judging these beers? Well, that was the conversation. You know, it's a bunch. The, a lot of the beer judges are a bunch of old guys. You got to go through a whole thing like a wine sommelier. You got to learn all the stuff. You got to learn the smells. And I'm allowed to judge because I drink. I'm a, I'm a celebrity judge. And that being said... I judge with a guy that teaches people to judge, Owen Ogletree. You can look him up on the internet. The guy is a beer expert, and he said to me, he's judged with me, and he said, you're as good as anybody I've trained, and you don't know the words, fair enough, but you don't know why it tastes funny, but you know when it tastes funny. And mm-hmm. that's what's important in a judge. you got to know if it's good or not, if either it's good or it's not. And I can So judge. do you know how they rate it? Is it a scale? Like how, yeah, how there's, they a, do there's a sheet. You can go on there, BCJP. Guidelines. You can actually, I have an app, and actually, I when I'm judging beer, I pull the app out, and you give me a beer, I judge it. And I'll be judging with guys that are expert judges, and I'm looking at the thing, and they're going, oh, "I like this beer because of this." And I'm like, "What well, says here?" They go, "It's too fizzy." I'm like, "It so, says here it's supposed to be fizzy." So, where was all the judging done at the festival? Yeah, they like, start they like start? on Wednesday. Okay, because I know that when we were at Brudu, I know that oh. we did it a month before Brudu. Okay, well, who, when I was at Brudu, I guess because they were announcing it, of course. Right. They There was a couple different people that got excited, and I wish I could remember who it was now. It's been a long time. It's been a few weeks. But they were like, we just got silver at the Great American Beer Festival for this or whatever. Right, you know, like, right. So Well, there's only four in Virginia. They, that, four that, medals. That ranked? Well, right. two there of them a, were at, beer, at, at Brudu. Yeah, probably I can probably uh, – we'll, while – Wild Wolf. Wild Wolf. Yeah, they and, got a gold or and a I silver. Think, they got a silver and was it stout. S- did Studio Brew get something? I want to say mm, it might have. I don't no, think no, so. No, it wasn't her. It wasn't her. It's somebody from North, two from Northern Virginia and one from Norfolk, as I okay. recall. Yeah, whatever. I posted up. I look, on, uh, look on uh, Huck's Beer Buzz. It's there. Well, maybe I'll look. Yeah, what's, what's this Huck Beer's Buzz? You? I don't know what you're speaking of. My Facebook of. page. I'm pretty sure I put them there. Um, and I haven't put a lot since. That might be near the top. <laughs> I've been busy drinking beer. But uh, so, so I would recommend that everyone go to the Great American Fear Festival one time, and I I would recommend blow one hundred sixty dollars or whatever it is next year or the next year, and go on Thursday and go to something called Paired, where they give you food and beer paired together. It is a little bit this year is a little bit too crowded, but nonetheless, I mean we're talking about excellent chef driven food and excellent. Sh- Brewer driven beer, so you don't have to be a beer blogger or anything to go to this. No, you just need to be. You got to join. You have the cash. You got to join one of two things. You got to join the American Home Brewers Association or the American Brewers Association. You don't have to be a brewer to join either, and then you can buy tickets in August or whenever they release them, and you have to buy them in like a ten minute interval afternoon Eastern time, and buy the tickets. But that being said, I bought extra tickets because I wasn't sure I was getting a media pass. And I had to sell them, and I ended up taking a loss because there were so many tickets this year. So the tickets aren't really bad. If you wanted to go to Denver and scalp a ticket, you can do it. I found the uh, I found the uh, oh, the winners, did? and I was right. It was Studio Brew, Studio the, the Ferguson, that oatmeal stout, and they're all That's around they here, right? From. I was drinking that. I, I, t- I interviewed this, her on the air. I haven't had and it she yet. She came and found me, and she was just like, "We just got silver." So that's what it was. The Ferguson from Studio Brew. That's, I distinctly remember she was very excited about that. Of course she was. Wild Wolf, like you said, won uh, with their American Stout. 
They won silver as well. Uh, do, 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 do. It looks like um, Benchtop Brewing, which I'm not familiar with them, no, I never uh, won a gold with a Mermaid Scorn. That's right. They're down in the in the beach, right? That's a Gosa. So that, that sounds kind of interesting. That could be good. And then uh, Ocelot Brewing scored a bronze with their powers of observation. It's a... Uh, a Baltic style porter. Okay, but I mean that's the least number that, in my recollection, that Virginia has brought home. Four, four. That's yeah, the that's, least number. That is a little low. Isn't I it? want to say it was seven two years ago, and last year I think we had a pretty good run, like twelve. So, yeah. but on the other hand, it's not all about awards. It's about drinking good beer, and and everybody in town's beer people. You know, there's just so much camaraderie. You know, it's like I've, I had, a side note is one of the sponsors, big sponsors of the Great American Beer Festival was a razor company. And I don't know if you hung around brewers. It's like 99%. Nobody shaves. Right. Has it's beards. all beards. I was it's like, all dude, beards. dude. Okay. I do shave these little places right here on my cheeks. I do shave that yeah. every, almost every day. But I was like, what the heck? All Why right. are you doing that? All right. Well, what are we thinking about this? Uh, oh, you know what barrel I'm thinking. Wine. I already know what you're Yeah, you know about. what I'm thinking. This is like. Since I left the Great American Beer Festival, this is the best beer I've had. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a five and a half, but I can't give that, so I'll just give it a five. It's a damn good beer, man. It's a damn good beer. Mm. It's delicious. Strange it's crab. luscious. Yeah, I don't know if I can... Oh, that's up to you, but I'm telling you, I'm a big barley if... wine fan, and this I is like... I do like barley wine. If, I just... I, if, it, if barley wine in the dictionary is a picture of this beer next to that. It really is, dude. This is a barley wine. I don't know if I can, if I can downgrade it at all. Like, you're gonna is. try though. I'm gonna try. No, you are. I, mean, I can't think of anything. I mean, and look at it. I mean, it's got the perfect head. It's beautiful. Lacing. It's perfect. It's a thing of beauty. Look at the color. Everything yeah. about it's pretty fantastic. Toilet water, perfect. Five, and it's one of those nana nana boo boo beers because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. nobody listening. Is you're not getting one. <laughs> you're not, not getting one. Drink. All right. Well, one last. All right. We need to wrap it up. Um, if there's anything else, people, anything else, anybody needs to know about the Great American Beer Festival? Yeah, just go. Just go. Go. Just go. There you have it. Huck from Huck's Beer Buzz, thanks for joining me again. I know next Tuesday is a special, oh, my favorite special holiday. show. It is, it is probably one of my top. Yeah, okay, I can't holidays. say favorite. You're it right. Is. There's like I it got really 10. is. There's a lot of good ones, but yeah. Halloween's up there. We'll probably dress up, won't we? I think we should. We should. Yeah, I think we should. There could be some silliness involved, uh, especially since I know that I'm going to be going straight from Bruce Day Tuesday to my because it's Halloween, so I got to be at McAdoo's and Blacksburg doing uh, my remote. So we well, all stop I, by I, there. I, I literally, I have to be dressed up. There you go. So uh, we'll we'll definitely have a little fun next Tuesday for our Halloween episode Ooh. of Bruce Day Tuesday. Anyways, as always, <laughs> Huck, I appreciate you coming in. Definitely be sure to hit him up, Huck's Beer Buzz, on the social media, on the uh, Untapped, on everything. Uh, I didn't give my untapped thing. Dress drinks, whatever. Didn't do that spiel. Whatever, whatever. But Back you did get a rock. T-shirt from Untapped. Back with more. Oh yeah. Now. Oh yeah. Maybe we should show more love now. <laughs> now that you brought an untapped <laughs> shirt. We'll take a quick break. We'll get back to the tunes on one hundred five point three. The Bear. Stick around.